Hello everyone, and welcome to another preview for Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Even though we're on the brink... Shut up. We're on the brink of 2017, and I bring you, or well, the developers actually bring you, the Bentley cars. The Bentley Continental GT, uh, the Speed version, which is, I think, from 2008. And the classic, the uh, T-Series, the T1. And no, not the T-Virus from the Resident Evil. Um, but yeah, rather lovely looking classic car. Um, very similar to the uh, Rolls-Royce Phantom. And actually, the funny thing is, I read, uh, I read about this car and uh, it was preferred by customers that didn't want to be as flashy um, as the Rolls-Royce offered them. <laughs> Because this this car was a little bit less flashy in a way, um, you know the the hood, as you can see, is uh, sort of lower on the car and a little more uh, rounded and such. But yeah, they both have big engines. They're uh, very interesting. This car actually was the first car um, for Bentley. It was completely redesigned Bentley that had a monocoque um, chassis instead of the usual ladder or space frame or whatever and uh yeah it also had pretty good disc brakes and so on and so forth and this car well this is a volkswagen it's a volkswagen phaeton um because the continental gt was i believe the first car that um bentley has released after being bought by volkswagen so yeah it is a volkswagen phaeton underneath but of course it is still a G, um, a Bentley GT. Now the cool thing is, of course, you can go inside and you know pretend like you're rich and actually own this car. There, on the bottom there, you can see uh, you've got heated seats and cooled seats and all that good stuff, which is pretty cool for a 2008 car. Um, and uh, yeah, I can I can just pretend. Oh yes, I have lots of money and I own this car. There you go, two air air, air filters. Uh, intake manifold. Of course, just like before, everything can be taken off, everything can be fiddled with, which is pretty damn awesome, if you ask me. It's a 6 liter. No, it's a... Yeah, I think it's a 6 liter twin turbo. Uh, now, I have repainted these two cars because I feel like they, um, you know, the, the colors they came with weren't really that amazing. Um... This car was like a, I don't know, sort of puke green, and this car was, I can't even remember what it was, I think it was like yellow or something. I don't know why, but I think this suits it much, much more. I actually didn't notice that the uh, bumper was cracked over here. Uh, the doors were as well, but I repaired them so it would look pretty for the um, for the showcase. But anyway, yeah, um, as always, the developers did a pretty darn nice job. The lights are also a bit wonky, so I would have to repair that. They did a pretty nice job, you know, with, with the car, with how everything looks. It's pretty um, up to standards of how the real... real what? How the real car looks. Apparently, um, I am drooling so much after this car that I cannot even speak properly. But anyway, yeah, it's two more cars you can play around with, um, take apart, you know, buy, restore, drive them around. And actually, let's try to drive this old classic around. Or actually, let's take it to the drag strip, the Bentley T-Series. All right, listen to that engine. Yeah. I believe this, uh, this car could do 118 miles per hour when it was new. Oh, not a lot of torque at the high range. Of course, I'm changing manually, but uh, this was an automatic car with an updated automatic transmission. Of course, it was also very large and heavy. But this wasn't a car for speed and racing, obviously, no, you know. Uh, this was more like a Rolls Royce. Yeah! Alright. Even though, of course, you know, uh, these uh, these car makers today are also making pretty sporty cars. So just like before, as I said, you'll be able to buy these uh, on an auction. You'll be able to restore them, completely, you know, change them. Uh, there are also performance parts, I believe, for the Bentleys. Let's see, Bentley. What? Oh. 
There it is. Oh, a V8 alternator Starry 2. What, the old alternator? I think that means old. Interesting. Anyway, yes, here are the performance parts. Well, this is the 560. Not sure why that is there. Uh, W12. Oh, yeah, they have their own. There you go. Carburetor 4 barrel. Is it just me or is there new performance stuff here? I don't know. Either way, let's see if I put in speed. No, so W12, I guess that is. Engine head. Look at that, 4,000. Bloody hell. Yeah, this is definitely the uh, Continental GT Speed. It's even got its own uh, pistons for an exhaust section. So yeah, you'll be able to have quite a bit of fun with this. And, um, you know, drive these beauties around, even though you cannot do so in uh, real life. If you can, by the way, uh, do so. Um, drive these things in real life and uh, own them. Please do give me a call. I am your friend. Um, forever. So anyway, yeah, uh, two more cars for the DLC. As always, you can expect them to be in my uh, Let's Play as well, where we will take them apart, drive them around, sell them, buy them, and so on and so forth. Look at this beauty. You can see how the the engines have sort of changed over the years. Not that much, actually, but, you know, there's loads more electronics. This is all, of course, uh, mostly mechanical and such. Um, and over there, it's it's like a big uh, cover over the engine and stuff like that. So, uh, it's quite interesting. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little tiny preview. And uh, I will see you next time in the next preview. Bye-bye.